What's going to happen now? Are they going to put us in jail? Take it easy, honey. Come on, she's just a kid. It's just a formality. The judge will warn us against bad habits and then turn us loose. How do you stand it? They're all so mean. They do their jobs, we do ours. Listen, whatever happens, you got to cooperate. Otherwise, you might land up in the slammer. I don't care. You don't mean that. I do. He was supposed to help me. Who? Your doctor friend? He hung up. Men. Seneca's not like that. He thinks he's doing this for my own good. Sorry, babe. Better luck next time. All rise. Take it easy now, huh? Third criminal court is now in session. Judge Godfrey presiding. Sorry I'm late. Well, let's get started. First case. We have uh, four ladies here, Your Honor, charged with loitering. We wasn't. A little blonde in the front row refused to be identified, and she's charged with resisting arrest and hitting an officer in the lawful pursuit of his duty. Uh, she hurt you? <laughs> She tried. Swear the witness. Uh, you swear that the testimony you are about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and I think the truth is how you got. I do. Okay, what happened? We picked him up on a sweep of uh, Scully's Bar over on 175th Street. The little one in the front row there gave us a hard time. What's your name, miss? Does anyone have anything to say? Your Honor, we weren't bothering anyone. And since when did it become loitering to have a drink in a public place? Oh, I wish you girls would work another town. OK, charges dismissed. Except for, for the little one who won't give her name. Hold her over for trial, pending identification and a bail petition. Honey, give the judge your name and tell him you're sorry. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Let's go. She can get her eyesight back. Can you see anything? Watch One Life to Live tonight at 9 on SoapNet. I now pronounce you husband and wife. May I present Mr. and Mrs. Lucas Roberts. You may kiss the bride. Soap talk. Oh, I heard a little murmur in the crowd. Allie Sweeney gets personal. You know what? The pressure is unbelievable. Then there's danger in the kitchen. Did you get hurt? <laughs> yeah, I did. Plus, find out what makes Michael Sabatino tick. It's my history. It is your me. history. Oh. An all-new Soap Talk, tonight at midnight, only on SoapNet. Purell users see the world differently. They don't see untouchable, germy bathrooms. They don't see icky, germy hands. And they don't worry about always having soap and water. They just carry Purell Instant Hand Sanitizer.
They know in seconds Purell kills 99.99% of germs. So look around. The world is cleaner than you think. Imagine a touchable world. Purell. Let's go now to Jorge Carmona for an update on the impending meteor shower. Jorge? That's right, Tina. The scientists here are saying that a direct cosmic impact will happen in the next few hours. To hold more unwanted things every time, use Glad Force Flex trash bags. Their unique diamond texture means you don't have to be afraid of overstuffing. For stretchable strength, get Glad. If you're like me, you'll do anything for your kids to give them a head start on learning so they feel good about themselves. That's why I'm so excited to introduce you to Click and Read Phonics, the online animated learning system that makes it easy and fun for your children to learn how to read. Now, to use it, it's as simple as logging on to clickandread.com. With Click and Read Phonics, my kids learned how to read by themselves at their own pace. Matt had a cart. Cat had a cart. And they absolutely loved it. Based on the most advanced software and latest phonics research, more than a thousand schools have used Click and Read. And so can you. Right now, Click and Read is so affordable and it comes with a 100% satisfaction guarantee. But best of all, your kids will love it. So log on now to click the letter N, read.com. T, where are you, Chad? What? Well, were you dreaming? I was. <laughs> well, from the expression on your face, it must have been a happy dream. I was being the perfect wife. The house was always picked up. The stove never smoked. The socks were all put away in the sock drawer instead of, you know, all over the place, half lost. And were you being this perfect wife to anybody in particular? To Barry? <laughs> Dave, can I ask you something? You most assuredly can. Why can't I just be in love? How come I always start thinking about getting married? Well, it's kind of natural to want to marry a man if you're in love with him. It is? However, marriage is a very big decision, and you shouldn't come about it impulsively or out of some kind of enthusiasm of the moment. <laughs> yeah. But in your case, you can hardly act impulsively because you're still married to Roger, at least in the eyes of the law. Oh, Roger's not the problem. He offered to give me a divorce. But it's what to do about Barry. I mean, oh, all I know for sure is that I want to spend every minute of every day for the rest of my life with him. <laughs> oh, dear. Even the Holy Father would wear very thin under those circumstances. Dee, you know, there's something you failed to mention to me. Has Barry asked you to marry him? Not yet. <sighs> but he will, I'm sure of it. Well, not everybody is as enthusiastic about getting married as you are. Oh, Barry's not against it. He's been married before. Oh, Maeve, it was so sad. He had this beautiful young wife, and they were wonderfully happy, and she died. Oh, dear. And since then, there have been girls, but no other love. And he's been terribly lonely. Well, I like Barry, and I'm sorry to hear about his wife, but you know, it's very difficult for me to imagine Barry being terribly lonely for very long. He certainly is full of life. But he has been in his soul until I came along. Well, I'm the one with a terrible track record where marriage is concerned. He should be worried about getting mixed up with me. Well, marriage isn't something that anybody should enter into very lightly, let me tell you. I guess that's why I'm consulting you. <laughs> Dee, you say that this thing between you and Barry, I mean, it seems to be going along awful fast. Yeah? You know, you can't marry every man that you fall in love with. I have so far. I know, but we don't want to go on repeating the mistakes of the past. I mean, that's what makes us different from the lower orders. Oh. <laughs> you know, when you were married to my sons, you were a very dependent and frightened little girl. I mean, you might say that sometimes you will walk and cry for help. Well, I was scared all the time in those days. Yes, but in the last 18 months, we've seen you all mature and grow up and begin to have a little faith in yourself. Largely do, I have to admit, to the influence of Roger Coleridge. I mean, he saw you as a woman that could stand on her own two feet, and he saw to it that that's what you did. But I'm the 
the one that did it, though. Yes, but with Archie's encouragement. Because he was mean and lazy, Maeve. He was awful. Well, nevertheless, dear, he did work a world of wonders with you. I, I don't see why you have to give him all the credit. You're not listening to me, dear. I'm not. All I'm saying is the frightened child that you were when you were married to Francis and later to Patrick is very different from the self-confident young woman who manages the Crystal Palace and does it very well. Well, I did grow while we were married. Yes. And you wouldn't have the Crystal Palace, my dear, if it hadn't been for Roger. Roger? But... But Barry's the one that's made the place a success. He's the one that got me all that publicity. Darling, it was your design and your imagination and your hard work that brought the Crystal Palace into existence. Don't you forget it. I'm not saying that Barry hasn't helped you since, no. You, just, you don't want Barry to have any credit at all. I want you to take the credit. All I'm trying to say with my heart is, Barry is very charming, but we don't know very much about him. Oh! These are, of course, shabby and colorless next to the two of you. <laughs> you see? Very hard to resist. <laughs> <laughs> To the great love of my life. Oh, Barry. <laughs> Her name is Delia. Oh, I'm gonna melt into a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it, everybody. We did it. John, I'm cleared, Ma. I'm cleared. No more suspicion, no more charges. Yeah, Ray Woodard confessed to everything. Confessed about what? Uh, they're talking about the politics. It was a private session of the Ethics Committee, but I don't think it's going to remain private very much longer. Jack's all finishing his story now, and every senator down there has his favorite newsman. <laughs> and what did Ray tell them? Well, just that she conspired with Samuel Addison Snow behind Frank's back. Apparently, she was responsible for everything. Phony contributions, a payoff, vice presidential campaign. And a whole bunch of people who couldn't seem to remember my name the last time I was down in Washington kept coming up to me saying, Frank, we knew it all along, shaking my hand. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> to Ray now. I hope they send her away for life. Well, as Ma used to say, when we were little, revenge is nothing but cold porridge, right? You went soft? Well, let's just say I figured public humiliation was enough punishment, D. She cost you your seat in the United States Senate. You're not going to do anything? Right, D. You know, Tizo's death didn't bring Mary back. My sending Ray to prison is not going to put me back in the U.S. Senate. They're not going to bring charges against her unless Frank wants to, and mm -hmm. I don't think he does. Mm -mm. Well, I think she deserves everything she gets. <clears throat> But I'm happy for you anyway. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the newspapers, they'll have it tomorrow morning. I guess the wire services will pick it up. 24 hours, Frank Ryan's not going to have to say anything to anybody. Ma? Ah. Son, have I told you how proud of you I am? Once or twice, but doesn't mean you can't do it again. <laughs> no. I truly believe that I know why you won't prosecute Ray. And I find you to be so generous and big-hearted and compassionate. No, I owe Ray a lot. I hurt her badly when I broke the engagement. Plus, she is going to be the speculation uh, of, the, of a lot of gossip, a lot of humiliation. And everyone she cares about is going to know what she did and why. So I just couldn't see sending her to prison on top of all of that. Because you're the man that you are. Spoken like a true Irish mother, you know that? <laughs> and I am indeed. <laughs> and proud as punch. Thank you. Now I have got to call Jillian. You know, it's amazing. You can dial direct right from this, right to the hotel in London. <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, the nearest phone was about a mile down the road <laughs> at nearest pub. <laughs> no more. I tell you, Ma, I wish you could have been there with me. Just wish you could have seen it, you know? Yeah, well, it's pity. Ah, all the circuits are busy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Why is Graham sitting on the kitchen table? Oh, why is Graham sitting on the... Because that's the best seat in the house, that's why. <laughs> Give me your airplane ride. Well, are you asking or demanding here? All right, all right. Because I like you, John, I will give you the airplane ride. Spread your wings, spread your wings. Come on, uh, head up, head up. Come on, now, now, be careful, Francis. That's right, that's right. There isn't much room in here, but the skies are clearing, Jono. In a few weeks, Jill and I will get married. We'll make a nice home for you. And then you will get to have your own room, plus 
the nicest, the newest train set in the whole world. What do you think? Well, I see Graham. You, you can see Graham and Dot anytime you want. It's going to be a happy home, John. I promise you that. SoapNet's original series, I Want to Be a Soap Star, is getting down to the wire. Things are getting crazy here. The prize is in reach. We're casting for a contract role on One Life to Live. Now these finalists have to go for it <laughs> or go home. I really think I could do a good job. It stinks. It stinks. Thanks, man. Who has what it takes to win? I forgot my line. I've never, ever wanted to strangle someone so much in my life. I Want to Be a Soap Star, Thursday nights at 11, only on SoapNet. You know the face, now play the game. Six Degrees of Victor Newman. He had a brief marriage with Ashley Abbott, who slept with dashing Brad Carlton. His daughter Colleen had a run-in with Kevin Fisher, whose brother Michael Baldwin had an affair with Victoria Newman, daughter to Victor Newman. Find all the connections on YNR Weeknights on SoapNet. Take it from here. Things are easier to find when they're stuck together. New Gladware interlocking lids lock together so you always know where they are. For lids that are easy to find, get glad. At eHarmony, you don't search for a match. We bring highly compatible matches to you. And if you are a first time member, you can try eHarmony absolutely risk free for seven days. eHarmony.com. Log on today. Your first age spot. You think everyone notices. A laser can zap it, but lasers aren't for you. New Olay Regenerous Targeted Tone Enhancer. To pinpoint discolorations, diminish their appearance, bring new brightness to your skin. Does the high cost of health care have you worried? Do you find you can't afford health insurance? Are you underinsured? Well, here's the solution, Synergy Health. For less than $2 a day, your entire family can save thousands of dollars on all your medical expenses. With more than 600,000 providers around the country, this program can save you up to 60% on doctors, hospitals, hearing, vision, prescriptions, and even dental. Plus, you'll get great savings on chiropractic, alternative medicine, and more. Now my whole family gets regular checkups, and Synergy Health even books our appointments for all of us. If you don't have health insurance, or you don't have enough, Synergy Health is for you. I have a heart condition. But with Synergy Health, everyone's approved. You'll feel better with Synergy Health. With Synergy Health, I saved $1,000 at my dentist. This program includes your entire family for less than $2 a day. Call 1-800-648-4841. Call now. If you think $5 doesn't go very far, wait till you see where it takes your television with DirecTV. Now, you can add over 30 exciting channels of awesome entertainment, fun cartoon networks that your kids will love, and fascinating educational programming. Just transform your Total Choice package into Total Choice Plus for as little as $5 more per month. That's incredible value. Upgrade to Total Choice Plus programming today. Visit directtv.com or call 1-800-531-5000. Next time I want lip from you, I'll ask for it. Your name's Seneca, and you're a doctor? Seneca Bula. Would you by any chance be uh, acquainted with a kid about uh, 18, short blonde hair, blue eyes, uh, a girl? Yeah, I assume you're talking about Kimberly Harris? Kimberly, Kim, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's her name. Look, lady, I, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish, but whatever it is, forget it, huh? I've had it with Kim's ploys and manipulation. You've had it? You just tell her that hysterical phone calls are not going to upset me, and I am not going to change my mind. Look, I, I took the trouble to find you. I think you ought to at least listen. Briefly. When I came in, I thought you were a father. No. Then I thought maybe you were a friend. Well, you don't sound like no friend. <laughs> well, if that's all you have to say... Honey, I'm just getting started. Now, 
I don't want to upset you. I mean, that would be a terrible thing to do. But I think you ought to know that there is one scared, miserable kid sitting down in city jail right now on account of you. Kim's in jail? Where she'll be for about the next 30 days, I'd say, thanks to you hanging up on her. What the hell are you talking about? She spent her one dime calling you for help, and she didn't get 10 cents worth of uh, attention. I, you can be sure of that. Maybe you better tell me what this is all about. I don't even know who you are. My name's Tony, and I'm, I'm uh, a little friend came in this morning, looking like she'd spent the night sleeping at the airport, which is what she did. And we got talking. She was miserable saying how she didn't have no any family, no friends, no one who cared about what happened to her. Next thing we all knew, there were cops all over the place, and she was pulled in with the rest of us. On what charge? Well, loitering, loitering is the main bust, but uh, she took a swing at one of them, so uh, they hit her with resisting arrest and going after a police officer in uh, lawful pursuit of his duty. Is that why you're out and she's still in jail? That and the fact that she didn't have a friend to bail her out. Who is she? I mean, was she hurt? How the hell do you think she is? Now, you look. There's a lot more to this than just my refusing to answer a hysterical phone call. No, you don't mean it. Kim happens to be a person about whom I care very much. Yeah. I want to do whatever's good for her. She sure needs help right now. I don't know if from you or whoever. But she's sure miserable. It isn't possible that this is some kind of an act. Would I come all the way uptown if I thought so? Now, being in the cooler is sure no act. There are other people that she could call. Yeah, she could call the president or the queen of England. I thought you were her friend. I am her friend. But my friends go bail for me. I'm sorry. I realize you're trying to help. And damn straight I am, and why aren't you? Because I'm not sure that my help is going to be good for Kimberly. I suppose you can always leave her there. That's the choice, isn't it? Next, seduction rules the bedroom and the boardroom on The Young and the Restless. Then it's All My Children, followed by One Life on Soapbed. He would risk everything. You're so crazy. I'm crazy about you. She would defy anyone. Daniel and I are still together. You've been lying to your father and me all this time. To legitimize their love. Unfortunately, you're my son-in-law and I am your father-in-law. I get that you don't like me. But can they stay together forever? The secrets come out sooner or later. Get to know Daniel and Lily, Genoa City's sweet young lovers. The Young and the Restless, next on SoapNet. SoapNet.com, your connection to exclusive behind-the-scenes access. Daily recaps of all the soaps. Chats with soap stars and other fans. One-stop shopping. Sexy wallpapers for your desktop. Chances to test your soap knowledge. The latest soap news and spoilers. Get connected now. SoapNet.com Ten gifted performers, all with the same dream. I am in this to win this. Live tonight, the journey to stardom has begun. If you don't take advantage of the opportunity, you are bummed. Off stage. I think Nick's adorable. And on. I didn't come here to go home. Got that, America? And the competition is fierce. There's only one spot, and I want it. Who will get one step closer to becoming the one making a music star? Live tonight at 9, 8 central, only on ABC. Concerned about bad breath? Listerine Pocket Packs dissolve in seconds, killing bad breath germs to freshen your breath instantly. Listerine Pocket Pack Strips. Kill the germs, get instant fresh breath. Put life in focus with Sears Optical. And right now, get a complete pair of glasses for just $99. Includes no-line bifocals, hundreds of styles to choose from. Sears Optical. The time of my life. And now I owe it all to you. At Sandals, having the time of your life means having everything you've ever dreamed of. Yeah, but most of all, it's having the time together. The time of my life. 
through July, get up to 50% off depending on date of travel. Call 1-800-SANDALS or visit our website. Yeah, well, as long as I need to stay, that's all that's really important, right? <laughs> yeah, do I? Is there anything I want to see more? Show me those trains. Go oh, show him the trains. I'll see you later. He loves the trains. Mm. What are you going to do now, Frank? You going to try to get back in the Senate? I might. I don't know. Oh, Frank, you got to. Uh, back to politics. Oh, it'll be just like the old days. Oh. What I really want to get into is politics, but I'd have to start off at a local level, a very low office. Back to the beginning again? Yeah, in a way. Mm. Well, why don't you just be a lawyer with exciting clients like Ken George Jones? <laughs> well, Ken George Jones is Jillian's client. I like theatrical law, but politics is what I really love. Well, you won't have any trouble putting the old team together, Frank. I can promise you that. Oh, we just like at the beginning. You and Bob and Julie. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be too bad, huh, Bob? We don't know for sure. <laughs> oh, Lordy, look who's here. Hello, everybody. Seneca? Frank, I wonder if I could have a minute. Yeah, sure, all right. Come on. No. I haven't seen you in here in quite a while. No. Look, uh, I'd rather go for help almost anywhere else, but the fact is, you are Kimberly's lawyer, and I believe I can trust in your discretion. I like to think so. Well, she's in trouble, and she needs a lawyer. What sort of trouble? The immediate problem is she's been arrested. She's in jail. Yeah, she was arrested this morning in some kind of crummy bar. There was a sweep. A bunch of prostitutes were rounded up, and Kim was taken in by mistake. Well, didn't she have any identification? I don't know the details, but apparently she caused some kind of fuss. I thought with your police background... Do you know where she is? Yeah. Let's go get her out. Ma, uh, if you'll excuse me for a minute, I have to go. Bye. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay, bye, mate. Bye, bye, sir. Bye. Dee, why don't you put one of these flowers that Barry gave you in your hair? Might Aren't you pretty. curious? Don't you want to know what that was about? Well, I suppose if Francis wanted us to know, he would have told us. Well, I think it's terrible being that mysterious. After all, I'm... Still family. <laughs> yes, dear. Or I was. At least I have Barry. Isn't he wonderful? Well, he's impossible to dislike, yes. Pretty hard not to fall in love with, too. <laughs> ah, excuse me. Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. or Mrs. John Ryan. Well, I'm Mrs. Ryan. Hi. I wonder if you could tell me where I might be able to find Barry Ryan, formerly of Chicago. I talked to his family there, and they said he was in New York and to ask here. Barry? You know where he is, then? Yes, I do, but... Uh... <gasps> oh, it's about time. You have no idea how hard it was catching up with him. <sighs> then again, he always was elusive. <laughs> Terrific trains. Hello, Barry. Long time no see. <laughs> Soapnet's got the skinny on Genoa City. Be there for all the breakups, breakdowns, and backstabbing action with the corporate kingpins and dazzling divas of this daring drama, The Young and the Restless, coming up next only on Soapnet. <laughs>